And hello, everybody. Welcome back to the High School Sports Beat, brought to you by Alfred State College. I'm Dave Yates. It is time now for the High School Notebook, brought to you by Duncan. America runs on Duncan. And once again, we are joined this week by Matt Trabel. Matt, always a pleasure to have you aboard. Thanks for having me on. Well, Matt, we're going to start talking North Star. Not the boys this year, but the girls. Yeah, lately when you hear North Star basketball, you think of that very successful boys team under J.J. Garwood, especially on the player side of things. You think about current D1 players, the Twins, Miles Brown, Michael Brown. But Roger Leo has a very good girls team right now for North Star Christian. They're one of the last two unbeatens in Section 5, 13-0 record to start the season, and a margin of victory average-wise, which is very impressive, with 23.5 points. And you look down this roster, and you see a lot of familiar names. It starts off with one of the captains in Michaela Brown. She's the younger sister of who I mentioned a second ago, those twins, Miles and Michael. And then up front you have Elena Garwood, who is a freshman starter on this team, and she is the daughter of the head coach for the boys team there in J.J. Garwood. Another really good story about this team is the starting center, Aliyah Penny. And the big thing about her is that she's a leading scorer on this team, despite last year she had to miss the entire season, unfortunately, due to injury. It's very poetic, I would say, that you have the last two unbeatens in Section 5 girls basketball being really right down the street from each other in Gates, in Gates, Chile, and North Star Christian. That's awesome. How about um, turning the boys now? Let's talk about uh, down in Livingston County and Kale Mum. Yeah, Kale Mum, you really have to give some love to them because... Even though they did not have for a few years a sectional title, until last year, they're kind of stringing together a couple of big years in a row here. So last year in the C3 final, they beat York. And they're currently in the C3 standings atop of those over that, by a couple of games, that familiar York team. And what's really the big clout in this team is that the three players that were atop their team last year are back this year. I mean, Vili Malasani, one of their backcourt studs, he is the leading program history scorer for them. You mix in a couple 6'3 guys up front. 6'3 sophomore Kyle Wade, only a sophomore, but he's in his second year in a row starting up front for them in 6'3 Joe Larson, a senior on the team, a guy kind of like Malasani that's been doing it for a little bit longer now. He can really bang on the blocks with anybody in Section 5 Class C just across all three, Class C1, Class C2, Class C3. A really good recent victory for them against the top two of the top team in Class B2. Avon in those standings. They were down double digits in the first half and they came back to win by 12. So it's very impressive what they're doing again. All right, really quick, let's talk a little bit about um, the Odyssey boys. Um, not a spectacular season maybe like they've had in the past or the past few years, but still one to watch. Yeah, I think fans should not get too caught up with that recent lopsided loss to Eastridge because the Lancers are an elite team in a higher classification. And even though they're the five seed right now in Class B1, I think they have a very good shot at repeating Class B1, those Odyssey Leopards, because they might have lost a few starters from that title team, and that's their main point guard in Trayvon Harper, their main perimeter threat in DJ Billings, their main post player in Eric Williams. But what's more important than all that stuff is their top player overall from last year. Jaden Hartsfield is back this season in purple and white and his right hand man, another guard, 6'1", powerful kid, Preston Mathis. Everybody they're gonna be playing from here on out this season, that opposition is gonna have some mismatch problems with Mathis. All right, sounds great, man. Thanks very much. We're back with more of the High School Sports Beat brought to you by Alfred State College right after this.